but I really think film something that encompasses everything. G'day and welcome to Sinbun Passion Files. My name is Clancy Cinnamon and today my guest is a young filmmaker by the name of Dane Holroyd. I tell you what, this bloke has an amazing attitude towards life and towards chasing his dreams. He just has this incredible like go get him way of being and just actively pursuing his passion and I absolutely love that and there is, there is definitely no question why I invited him to be a part of the very first instalment of Sinbun Passion Files and it's because he literally is the epitome of passion. I think passion's got Dane a long way so far and I think that kind of just that authenticity and that, that way of just honing in and just, just really going for his dreams and his goals has served him so well up to this point and uh, I think it'll hold him in really good stead for the future. I guess just to quickly fill you in on a bit of his backstory, um, I guess the most important thing to know going forward is that he uh, is obviously a filmmaker but his key area of interest has actually honed in on creating commercials. So that's, that's something that he's just really taking a shining to and he absolutely loves it. Um, you can just see by the way he spends hours and hours writing treatments um, and just and making ads for organisations and companies that don't necessarily need ads, but he makes ads as a way of proving his ability. So he'll make, go out and make a, a, a spec ad, which is what it's officially called. He'll make a spec ad for a certain company just to show you know people within the industry agencies and and um, you know different production companies his skills and um, yeah you'll see a couple of those those spec ads throughout the um, the video that follows and uh, yeah there's some some beautiful shots he, he has a real emphasis on the visual side of things he loves the visuals and uh, you can definitely see that through his work um, but yeah just an awesome guy, awesome attitude, and I really hope that by sharing a bit of his wisdom with you all here today that you'll um, be inspired that, like I've been inspired by hearing his story. So without any further ado, please enjoy getting to know Dane Holroyd. Let's go for it. There's gonna be so many little moments, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, there's something about film that you can never, you're never, you're con every single project, you, there's a bit an ability to get better. And I think that's like the biggest thing about film is just, you're not, you can make something and you're like, oh, I could do that better. I could do that better. And that just continually goes on. There's never like, I killed that project. I'm done with film. Like you, not gonna happen. So I went to the Multimedia Arts and Design Academy in Santa Barbara. So it was, you pretty much study graphic design, photography, film, all these different types of mediums and that's when I got to dabble in everything. I love photography, but then film came and I took an editing class and I just remember being in there just doing these fast cuts and just like, kind of like loving it. I was like, this is sick. I can make work. I can go out and shoot something and come in. And we had these great facilities, full sound stages and none of the students really like used it. So I would just be in there on weekends and just like constantly, I'm like, we have all this stuff why not just keep making work and keep making stuff and I feel like if you just keep making stuff you're bound to get good. <laughs> I was born and raised in Santa Barbara, um, grew up, went to elementary school, high school and then when I was 18 I moved to LA. Uh, fresh moved straight to LA, started interning, being a production assistant. I actually read scripts for Robert Zemeckis at Universal Studios. I worked at a post-production facility that focused on color grading. Pretty much drove just like drives all around LA. And then I also started working on commercials, just getting coffees for directors and just really looking into that world of making commercials. I absolutely fell in love with it. I was like, that's what I wanna do. I met with somebody and I was like, hey, how can I get to that spot of directing? And they're all like, you just have to make work and make good work that's different. So I, I took that in mind. My grandma and mom really wanted me to get a degree. I wanted to keep building my way up in the industry. And then I found out about Bond, came to Bond in Australia on the Gold Coast and kind of found a place where I could just make that spec work that, they, that the, my, some of my mentors were telling me to make. Come with 
Any man went top two, I'm bump skin four in my German whip. Look, I ain't saying that makes me great. I'm just saying I'm playing my part. I just find it funny how they call me this one ain't gonna show. Tell all the haters, kiss my ass. Scares me mad that we're draw star. I'm on the top of my roof, the fire in the boot, but check my fire in the floor. If you make work that people want, you become in demand. So then it's just, you jump straight to directing. And yeah, I, a lot of people ask me, they're like, who do you know in the industry? Who helps you do this? And it's just lots of hard work and time staring at a screen, coming up with ideas, watching commercials, like it's just time and effort. And I love it. So I don't mind that time. LA is crazy, dude. I, the traffic is insane so busy and I was trying to go to school all while doing these internships and stuff because I I've always known school is important but I think hands-on learning and like getting an insight into the industry is the best way to see if this is the correct route that you want to take so I moved into a <laughs> an apartment with a 40 year old cat lady and um, <laughs> she had three cats and yeah I moved in with her and just <laughs> it was I never wanted to be home. So I was constantly either at the library, at the offices working, and I would just come home late. So I never had to deal with that. And it was like kind of a blessing in disguise because it made me work super hard and like not go and party and do all that stuff. But I was just like constantly really focused of like, I knew what I wanted to do. And then I got out of that and moved in with another one of my mates and then moved to Australia. So the Multimedia Arts and Design Academy at Santa Barbara High School has a partnership with um, Bond. So some of my classes transferred over and I saved a heap of money. So I was just like, why not? Why would I not <laughs> go to Bond, save money? And being a surfer, like Burley Point is literally a three minute walk that way. So it was kind of a no brainer to just move here, surf, um, had a couple friends who also went to Bond. So I knew I could get in with the local community of surfers and just like-minded people while also being creative. I did contests a lot growing up. Um, I was, had sponsors, yes. I was obsessed with surfing. That's all I thought about. I worked at a local surf shop when I turned 16. I hung out there for two years prior to that. Just loved hanging around all the surfboards and talking stories and knowing how each board worked. And I just became obsessed with that. And did I ever think I was going to be a pro surfer? No, but I just always really enjoyed it. And like, I was just going to see where it took me and constantly, I just loved it. It's funny, people always like, whenever they find out I surf, they're all like, oh, so you make like surf films and stuff. I haven't done any spots about surfing. I kind of keep them separate. So like surfing's my escape, my, I go into the water and if I'm stressing about a brief or a treatment, I just can let my brain just go free and then I come back and I usually have fresh ideas. I don't know, finding that balance, surfing gives me a great balance, like, wow, that's pretty gnarly. Surfing gives me great balance and it also balances my life. I think what I like about ads is, so you have this small amount of time to get people's attention and to make something real that pulls people in. And I, I just fell in love with that idea of like trying to make something that people are gonna see this, it's gonna either air or something. Why not make it interesting and cool? I hated watching boring ads. I, lo I love funny ads as well, which is something that really was what took me in originally. And then, and then I also just love this like idea of hard work and passion. And I like see spots where you see that involved in there and just spots that really grab your attention. And you're like, whoa, that was cool. That was interesting. That really, wow. Like I wanted to make work like that. I was like, I want to do that feature films, maybe down the road. I enjoy storytelling as well, but I really visuals are, I really enjoy visuals and I'm trying to mix visuals and storytelling in such a short amount of time, but it's a great question, why why commercials? But I think it was, I just saw this opportunity to break in as well and start directing. And when you start with short form, then you can continually get bigger. And it's just a great window to break in through.
I just want to make great work. That's straight up. I want to make great work with great people and making clients happy, making agencies happy, but at the end of the, the day, really making work that I like. So I started Bond and then that first break was when I got a call and somebody said, hey, you want to come to LA, prep a job and then go shoot it in India? And I was like, heck yeah, <laughs> like, I really wanted to. And this nonprofit Pace Universal who fights human trafficking by educating young girls living in extreme poverty. So they're pretty much the basis of what they do. They wanted to make a promo video in India. And I was like, sick, I'm keen, let's, let's do this. I started looking into their story. I found a, a story that just made my heart just melt. And I was just like, this story just, was so horrible and and i was like we're gonna go make this story to show people what's happening in these third world countries like india it's funny when you're like sharing a story that's so powerful you feel this passion to like do the story justice and it just keeps driving you and pushes you to the next limit Everybody asks me, how are you doing this at such a young age? It's because we have the technology and we have access to the top cameras and anyone can make great work that's industry level now. And you can start so young just making shooting stuff and then editing it together and that's the start. You just have to go out and make work. That's all, you make stuff that you think is cool. If you don't like it, don't make it. If you like it, make it. I remember my first spec. I started with commercials. So I, I didn't even go, I started straight in. The assignment was to make a 30 second commercial. For that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing is not. Run it from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your pride. It was for Nike and it was just this high pace cutting. Like you see it and you see where my work started from. In that moment, everybody was just all like that. That's so good and I was like I had so much fun doing that commercials are just a crazy little place it's not like a feature a low budget feature film where you can't shoot with this like it's like yo let's use a, a camera car to like chase a, um, a new Honda and just in the middle of the desert like it's just it's crazy and it's fun and it's constantly you're constantly doing new stuff it's never it's never oh we're, sh we're we got to go to this office and just do this it's like we're going to a different location to shoot this and this is the story and it's just ever changing and it's never, you can never get bored I think with commercials. Like there's always something new and hopefully with the work that I pitch on, it's interesting to me. So it's always gonna be, if it's interesting to me, I hope it's interesting to other people. And I'm passionate about film and I enjoy working with the people who are passionate about their sport if it's a, if it's a sport commercial. I like working with people who are passionate about something I think that passion comes all the way around because I'm passionate about film and I want to be passionate about sharing these people's stories about what they're passionate about. Being young, everyone's all like, wow, is this guy just getting lucky with this stuff? And it's, you question yourself, and, but that's filmmaking. You like, you make something that sucks and you're like all bummed and then you make something great and you're all stoked. And then you're like, why am I doing this? It's just this constant roller coaster ride of emotions and like, you don't land a couple jobs and you're like, is this really what I want to do? And then you like get on set and you're like, holy fuck, this is the best moment. And like, this is, this is what I was put on this earth to do. I really think being around people who are passionate about what they do, it makes everyone like, oh, I'm here for a reason. I'm not just here to make money. It's like, this person's really stoked on this. Like, I'm stoked that they're stoked on it and let's make something cool. And you get, you get this, this power of like everybody being together and like all working towards something. And I think that's the job of the director, like at the end of the day is to pull the team together. And yes, your job's also to make sure the story comes along and everything happens, but you gotta get everybody together and motivated. And that's when you get everyone to work the best. And when everyone's doing their job right, it makes your life way easier because they're doing good stuff. It makes you look good, it makes them look good. Client happy, client's happy. Hopefully the agency calls you back up for an even bigger job. Yeah, so I guess I'm represented officially now 
by a company in the States called Los York, who have offices in LA and New York, and here in Australia by a company called Collider, who has offices in Sydney and Melbourne. I'm really grateful to have representation and people pitching me for jobs. Like, it's kind of just gives you that little bit of extra, like people believe in you and they're pitching you for jobs. So Los York in particular, the co-founder Seth Epstein, he took me under his wing and taught me everything there is to know about commercials. Straight up, I would not be where I am today without that man. And I want to keep pitching on jobs for them even while I'm in, this, in Australia. I want them to keep sending me scripts and hey, this job just came in, you wanna pitch on it, and then just a day away. Um, and then Collider down in Sydney, they, um, so I've been trying to get representation here in Australia for the past year, just emailing every single company. I went down to Sydney last October and just walked into every single office and like, hey, could I meet with one of your executive producers? And some people didn't give me the time of day, but Collider was one of them where they were like, yeah, come in for a little meeting. Love to see your work and what you're working on. Um, I went to their office. I sent, it's a great story. Um, I sent the girl a message. The, I was meeting a producer there and I sent her a message saying, hey, are you like, I looked in the window and there looked like there was a big meeting going on. And I go, hey, it looks like you're in a meeting. I'll wait outside. Little did I know that it's a big office and this was just like straight into this, like another meeting was going on. And she goes, no, come in. So I was like, oh, I'll come into the meeting. I didn't know there was like, this was going on. So I opened the door and I go into this meeting room and just start shaking all these people's hands and everyone's dressed pretty nice. Um, and they're looking at me like, who the heck is this guy? But like, they're nice about it. They're like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm like, I'm Dane. I'm a young director, like trying to break into like, did my whole little spiel trying to, trying to break in. And I see this woman running down the hallway and I'm like, I'm not supposed to be in here, am I? And it was turned out to be the CEO, the managing director, the head, like one of the executive producers. And I'm now really good friends with them being with the company. But at the time they just, it, it was horrible. I just walked into some random meeting and just introduced myself. But I think the way I held myself in such a bad situation kind of sh maybe showed a lot about me and, um, yeah, they, it took a while. I kept sending them work and they wanted to make sure the investment in, in me was worth it. But now I'm working with them and they're pitching me on music videos and commercials and um, yeah, it's just good to have representation. I just kind of take it day by day and just keep working on jobs that I like. And I, I always do have that global, like an international thing that I want to strive for getting repped all around so I can keep traveling and staying busy. Like I want to just keep grinding and just like really get to the top of it as quickly as I can and like stay there and keep enjoying it. Cause once you stop enjoying it, it's just not worth it. So I just want to keep making like, just hopefully I still love making commercials. Um, maybe I'll start writing feature film scripts and starting looking at that and maybe TV. I don't know what's going to be big. It's like, are commercial TV commercials going to be around? Are they not going to be around? Is social media going to be big? Is Netflix still going to be on top? Is Amazon going to be destroying the world with all their, <laughs> their is Bezos just the king of the world? Um, I don't know. I, I literally don't know. I just hope I can find that balance between like work and surfing and just finding balance. I think that's my straight up biggest thing. If I can balance my life when I'm in 10 years, that's, that's all I'll, I'll be happy. And hopefully I'm making cool shit. It'd be cool to own a production company and fostering new, like new talent. That'd be cool. That'd be a really cool way to kind of just finding the top new talent. And I think I feel like young people are the way to like, they're, they're always on it with what's in what's out. So like trusting young people is a smart thing. So maybe one day down the road production company, that'd be fun to own and kind of a script comes in and you, you're just like, I, I'm going to grab that one and go shoot that. That's amazing. <laughs> like, and just, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what happens.
Well, there you have it, Dane Holroyd. What a man. Seriously, it was such a pleasure chatting with him. I'm really, really grateful that he took the time out of his out of his schedule to sit down. I think we spoke for like two hours. So um, yeah, if, if the full chat is something that interests you, you can find the link to that down in the description. While we're down in the, the description area, you can also find Dane's social accounts. So Dane Holroyd on Instagram and on Vimeo. Um, and also a massive shout out to Alexander Fremstad Askim, who actually shot some of the behind the scenes stuff that you would have seen there of Dane on set. Um, I feel very grateful to have had that footage to just help tell this story in the best possible way I could. Uh, and yeah, obviously couldn't have done that without that footage. So definitely check out Alexander's Vimeo and Instagram in the link below as well. And uh, yeah, just finally, I guess, check out my socials. I might as well throw my own plug in, but yeah, Sinbun96 on Instagram. And you can also obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would mean the world. I really would love a few more subscribers, but also because I'm gonna be putting out new content and uh, I'd love to, to, yeah, just have a little community building around this idea of following our passion. And if we can all follow our passion, I think that is the real key to moving forward as individuals and as a society. Uh, if everyone's following their passion, then there should be no need to get all worked up about all that other stuff because passion conquers all in my opinion uh, so yeah subscribe um, like comment feel free to ask any questions down in the comments below and uh, other than that we'll be uh, talking to you and seeing you soon cheers